Hey there, one up Indy here coming with another basics uh, video tutorial for depth sorting in Game Maker. And if you're considering or thinking like, what's depth sorting? Well, the idea is kind of easy. So uh, just imagine it, things which are upfront should be drawn upfront. Yay, I know, genius stuff. And then stuff which is behind something should be drawn behind. And depth sorting is basically solving this issue um, the cheap man's way here because this does technically work for the most time but in some uh, in, uh, issues or areas um, there are of course more refined ways but the videos are 25 minutes or 30 or something so if you want to have uh, a, a, a superior version to this video then link in the description below but of course if you want the quick man cheap man's way well here you go. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider sharing, liking, and subscribing? Alrighty, so this is how it basically goes for the theory. So let's say you have something like the player, and then as you can see, he is always below everything. So why is that? Because his on the left side, when you are on your instances where well, all your instances are placed, then he's on the one of the first things which are being created and then you have a stack which, a stack which is going downwards and then therefore if we put them at, as the last thing then just imagine it like layers or like cards and then the card which is on well, on the top of the stack well this one you will definitely see so this is the same and therefore we just reshuffle uh, like here the depths and then for example he's above something but below some other thing and then it makes sense to have that on the specific y position and this is basically it so for that we have a depth sort um, object which we're going to place into the room and this will do the magic for us and here we just do a very very easy thing so have a with statement with statement just means that you go through a specific instance and of course it's children also so for example what i could do is just go with our object player and say like hey depth is equal to minus your y value and this already does work but of course if you got more than one instance to check then um it's kind of tedious to do it like this so for now for enemy a and then for enemy b this is not effective and therefore it's definitely much easier to have another a parent object which is just clustering everything into one thing and we just call it come on we just call it instances parent and then we just say like hey dude you got now children even if you <laughs> never wanted them we just go plus and we are adding uh, well all that stuff here and then uh, we pretty much close it and then we can just say like hey depth sorting system go through all because now this dude has clustered all the instances which we need so the enemies and the player therefore it makes sense this already works so as you can see this already works if you want to be up front and then you are behind so this stuff works because it's updating all the time for all the instances the depths of them so this is quite effective of course not the best way once again and it has some pitfalls so if for example the first thing it needs to have some preparation concerning where your origin point is so basically this is the thing which you can customize it here so to specific directions let's say um, you for some reason have it in the middle center or have it top left or whatever then mm, this won't be working too good so what you can do for an alternative is just say like hey we abuse our bounding box so bounding box bottom of course always a minus please because this is the way it goes but for example if uh, you got some really strange things like this yeah then the system won't be working either so therefore just these are the two pitfalls where you need to uh, consider how you do your bounding box if you for example want to take the bounding box bottom so basically this is the lowest y position which is uh, which you are grabbing and then assigning your depth to or um, if you want to use the y value then be careful with the origin point which you assign to each sprite so once again two uh, cheap man's ways how to do that basically step event and that's it wowzy easy peasy stuff Alrighty, hopefully you 
enjoyed this and see you in the next one. Have a good one. One up indie.